Hey guys, G54023. I got an update for you on the SJC Magwell. Kind of mixed about it. It performed really well, as you can see. I used it quite a bit. And did have some trouble with it, like I showed you in my first video I made. The magazines sticking in the Magwell. Now I've remedied the problem. I think I've figured out what was going on with that. I do believe one of the problems was this plug. You can see I filed that off and it was sticking out into this magazine chamber a little bit. I do believe it was catching on the mags but I'm not 100% sure. I am however 100% sure what else goes on. Like I said in my first video I told you not to crank down that screw and this is why if my camera will pick it up. Watch the two walls of the magazine well. If you really crank down on this thing, this is what happens. You see them suck in, and now the magazines will not come out. They actually stick. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see where they've been rubbing on the sides. And that made me wonder, so I got to messing around with it, and sure enough, when you tighten that down too far, it will suck those walls in because there's nothing to stop the the original magwell from getting in the way. So snug this thing up, put some Loctite on it, barely turn on that thing, just get it snug, and then they will fall free. So that is what happened to me at a match and of all stages to do it on, it was the classifier. I'll roll in some video of what happened and at the end, and you can see what happened. It cost me a couple seconds on my time, but I think I've fixed the problem, and I'll continue to use this until I find something better. Uh, a couple refinements they can make is to utilize this hole in the back. A lot of other magwells that I've seen have utilized that and kept that plug from backing out. This did get a little bit wiggly on me. It it kind of backed out of that hole I think and it's just held in by tension. You just push it in and that's it. So there's nothing actually retaining this thing. If they could come up with a little bit better method of holding it in there I know the back straps on the Gen 4's really cause a problem but as you can see I'll take this off again I think all this is is a modified Gen 3 plug because there is a hole in it. You saw that in the first video. And when you push this in here, it goes completely past that hole. So that hole's not even being utilized, so that doesn't even need to be there. So if they could utilize that hole to get that to retain a little bit better and keep from getting loose I believe it would be a whole lot better product but like I said it's not bad as long as you know not to tighten that screw down I haven't I did some research on some magwells for the gen 4 and this is probably the best one that I could come up with everything else said that the fit wasn't all that great and this one fits really good but you just have that issue with the magazine well so that's an update video for you guys i hope it helps you out if you're looking for a gen 4 magwell uh just putting a little more information out there that i experienced so if you have any questions or comments let me know and have fun be safe guys thanks are you ready stand by Are you ready? Stand by. You're finished. Unload and show clear. If clear, drop hammer and holster.
Range is clear.